Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayers. From the ends of the earth, I call to you. I call as my heart grow very faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For your being my refuge is strong taller against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever. I bow my knees. I raise my hand and I worship and I subscribe to you, O King of King, Lord of Lord. Your kingdom come on earth. Your will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day all your daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debt to lead us not into temptation and evil one. But thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. I thank you, I magnify and I glorify your name. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you. But through Jesus Christ we have known you and we believe that you have sent us the only true God and Jesus Christ whom God has sent. I magnify you and glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. In the studio, we have Pastor Elvera. Pastor of Global Diplomat College Center, Manila, Philippine, Antipolo City. Non Pastor Alvera. Welcome to our online seminar brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center. Our vision transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. And now we present to you Joseph Forbes, God's only prophet and ambassador from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. It's an honor to have you, Prophet Forbes. Thank you. We have some questions that we would like you to explain. Thank you. Explain to us what is the difference between religion and kingdom? Why most pastors do not understand the kingdom and mixed religion with kingdom why christianity postponed the kingdom in the future jesus christ is one of the misunderstood man ever walk on earth for 1800 years Judaism. Christianity, Islam, Baha'i faith, Jehovah's Witness faith, Scientology, in a denomination, non-denomination, Baptist, Seventh-day, Anglican, and all these denominational church for 1800 years, they buried the kingdom of God in the graveyard of religion. Our focus today is kingdom of God influence on earth. In every nation around the world, bringing the kingdom of God influence in America, in China, in the Philippines. The influence in Canada, Africa, Israel, Lebanon, Germany, North and South Korea, in the Bahamas, Trinidad, Barbados, and Croix, and kids. In Mexico, and all the nations of the earth bringing the impact of the influence of God on earth. Wow. We have 10 points I want to make clear to you. 1.1 1. 1, The kingdom is not a religion. You cannot mix religious belief with the kingdom of God message. You cannot. Now, pastors today and preachers today are mixing the kingdom of God message with religion. You cannot do that. 
I'll explain to you. When anyone hears the message of the kingdom of heaven and he do not understand it, the wicked ones come to snatch what he have already sown in his heart. You cannot understand, you cannot preach what you do not understand. You cannot experience what you do not understand. Lead to point two. The kingdom of heaven is a country. What the kingdom of heaven is? The kingdom of heaven is a country. The kingdom of heaven is an invisible country. Leave to point three. The kingdom of God is the original purpose, its idea to influence earth. What I just said? The kingdom of God is the original purpose to influence earth. It is God's original purpose to influence earth. Now, for 1800 years, folks were trying every plan or man idea. They were building large edifice, churches. They were having Christian music and singing, professional singers around the world. They were trying to influence you by singing and by church building and by cooks out and supper sales and food, music and food and ritual. You cannot influence earth through your church doctrine. Wow. Leave to point uh, four. The kingdom of God of heaven is the influence of heaven on earth. What it is? The kingdom of God is the influence of heaven to earth. The kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of God influence on earth. What it is? The kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of God influence on earth. Leave to point five. The kingdom of God is a colony of the kingdom of heaven. What I just said. The kingdom of God is the colony of the kingdom of heaven. Leave to point six now. Now, what is a colony? A colony is a community of people agreed by the same law the same custom, the same lifestyle, and the same culture. A colony is an expansion of a far distant country to another country to colonize that country just like the original own country. When England colonized the Bahamas, the queen stayed in England. She sent a governor to Bahamas, to United States of America, to uh, Canada, to Hong Kong, to many other countries she colonized. She stayed in England and she sent that governor to bring these countries, these colonies, just like England. Am I clear? The kingdom of God is today. Christianity, one of the largest religion on earth, they postpone the kingdom onto the future. The kingdom of God is not the future. The kingdom of God is now. Am I clear? How you understand my saying? The kingdom of God is now. To understand the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, you must have a kingdom mentality. You cannot explain, understand the kingdom of God in what? 
religion, nor in democracy, nor in socialists, nor in dictatorship. You cannot. The kingdom of God, you must have a kingdom mentality to understand the kingdom of heaven. That leads us to point eight. The kingdom, the Bible is about. What is the Bible about? A lot of religion has a bunch of keys, and they don't understand how to use these keys. They're mixing religion with kingdom. Now, what is religion? Religion is man's search for God. Religion is man's idea. Religion is man's concept. Religion is the theologians that study about God, and they bring in their theology about the Bible. The Bible is about a king. What the Bible is about? It's about a king. A kingdom of God and his family. When a king have children, they are called royal citizens, royal family. So it's about a king, a kingdom, and his family. It's about the expansion and the extension of the kingdom of heaven on earth. Wow. Lead to point 10. I leave to point 9, then we go to 10. Understand that the Bible is the kingdom of heaven constitution. Every country has a what? Constitution. You hold, I'm talking to you. Yeah, no, the next one, next door. Yes, I'm talking to you and me. The Bible is the kingdom of heaven constitution. Lead to point 10. The Bible is a collection of God's idea. What it is? A collection of God's idea. Consists of 66 books. Now, every follower of Jesus, before they get to preach the kingdom, they were taught. John the Baptist teach his disciples. They were disciples. You cannot understand the kingdom effectively unless you become a disciple. The problem is, these preachers who close the door of the kingdom of God in man's face, they don't want to go on, but they don't allow others to enter in. They have so much pride that they don't want to humble themselves and be disciples about the kingdom. So what they did, they mixed the same old dead religion in kingdom. It don't work. If you take milk and you pour it in water, what happened to it? The color change. It's not pure milk. Am I clear? The word of the kingdom is pure. Cannot be mixed. Like old wine in what? New bottle. Am I clear? Now we go to the message already in progress. Where we go, Pastor? To the message already in progress. I began. In the Constitution of the Bible, get your note and your pad. And get a clean sheet of paper and notepad and your laptop computer. And follow me as we go in this seminar. Acts 8, 12, subsection 12. The attraction and the impact and the influence of the church in Antioch, in Samaria, in Jerusalem, the early church. But when they believed... Underline the word believe. But when they what? But when they believed. 
To understand the kingdom, you got to believe in the kingdom. You got to believe in Christianity and the kingdom at the same time. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasury which a man find in his field and with joy he sold all he had. He get rid of everything he had and he bought the field. What I'm giving you is heaven's treasury. But when they believe, Philip, Underline the word Philip. Now, Jesus praying, not for the disciples alone, but he prayed for those which shall believe on him through their message. That's his prayer. He prayed years ago for you to understand the kingdom. How you understand it? By a preacher, a kingdom preacher. By God's holy prophet, Ambassador Joseph Forbes. You understand the kingdom by Joseph Forbes, God's holy prophet, Ambassador. As you believe, when you believe in Jesus, you must believe in the message. Joseph Forbes give you about Jesus. So he said, when they believe Philip preaching, he proclaimed. The word proclaim is to official publish a statement. I officially publish the kingdom of God in the YouTube and in the nations of the earth. And everywhere I preach around the world, I continue publish it the good news of the kingdom. But when they believe, what they believe? The good news of the kingdom of God. What they believe? The goodness of the kingdom of God. Now, the good news is Evangelion. In Greek, it is Evangelion. Evangelion is the gospel. The good news of the kingdom of God. When they believe, that's good news. And in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized. Both men and women. Now notice, a lot of people say, I ain't calling you to Jesus. No, say in the name of who? Jesus Christ. Jesus is the son, a child that was born. Christ is the anointed king. So what do you believe? In the kingdom, in the anointed king message. Wow. <laughs> wow. Simon himself believed. What Simon himself believed. Do you understand that? Simon himself believed and were baptized and he followed Philip everywhere astonished by the great signs and miracle he saw now I want to explain who is Simon and what is Simon Simon was a sorcerer. Who Simon was? A sorcerer. A sorcerer is a witch. A magic power worker who has the spirit of evil spirit. Simon was? A witch who has an evil spirit power. Simon War, who operates through sexual sex immorality and witchcraft spirit. Now, what is witchcraft spirit? Many of the spirit is in Louisiana and Haiti. A witchcraft spirit is one who consults the dead. What a witchcraft spirit is? One who consults the dead. Now, Simon had this power. He had drug power. 
Truck being back, way back then. He have alcohol power. He drinks bear power. And he had sex and music power. Money. And belt. Wow. A witch! It's in churches today! You go in America, in especially Africa, in Haiti, and the Bahamas and many other countries, there are a bunch of witches in the churches. Claim to have power. But that power is not the kingdom influence on earth. The power is in the kingdom of heaven, the good news of the kingdom of God. That's the power. Wow! That you must have. So Simon was the one? Sorcerer. Simon operated by what? Witchcraft. He operated by consulting the dead. And let's read the discover who Simon. Underline this word. Get the scripture. Acts 8. Acts 8. Got it? Now for a long time a man named Simon had practiced sorcery. What did he practice? Sorcery. Sorcery is witchcraft. Sorcery is evil spirit. Had practiced sorcery. For a long time he had practiced sorcery. In the city of Samara. How about where you live? In your city? In your town? All humans seek power. All humans seek power. Everybody wants power. But sorcery is an evil spirit power. They're also your palm readers. Your fortune teller. Mama Hulu. Mama Mary. Mama Hulu. They're sorcerers. Reading your palm. Want to let them want to go find out who your husband is. If you're going to win any money and all these things, people read your horoscope and all these things, working hulululu in the churches. Wow. But I want to let you know that the message of the kingdom of God is here today to break the power and spirit of sorcery. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. He bewitched people for a long time, but claimed that he was some great one. And even the least to the greatest attend to him by his sorcery power. He claimed to have a great power. Many of you in Facebook and YouTube and around the world, you claim to have power. Religion is not power. Religion is ritual. Go on hawking, spitting, talking about the work Jesus did. You are preaching a message what Jesus did, not what he said. You're not preaching the gospel when you're preaching a message what he did. You got to preach what he say. Simon himself believed on war Baptized. What happened to Simon? Believe and is baptized. Simon said, Believe and were baptized. He followed Peter everywhere. Extomished by the great sign and miracle. Now, I want to let you know something. That you have a crusade and revival service, and you claim that you have a healing service. It is not your service. There's nowhere in the Bible anyone had any healing service, any revival service and healing. It's not written. Simon preached the kingdom. Philip preached the kingdom. Simon believed what? In the kingdom. He was baptized. The witch caught the message and he joined Philip. Wow. So there are no way in the Bible where they have these miracle service. Jesus never preached healing. Never preached sign. Jesus did sign. 
Jesus here. He never preached resurrection. He is the resurrection. Never preached salvation. He is salvation. See, when you preach the kingdom of God, automatic healing is there now. Pastor find the scripture. But if I cast a devil by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto thee. If I drive out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come on to thee. You find it? Luke 11 and 20. Read it, read it, read it. But if I cast out demons with the finger of stop God. The, stop the. If I cast out demons, if I if I if, if I um run, expel demons from folk, or if I a miracle take place, or sign and wonder happen, when you're preaching, if you do that, then the kingdom of God has what? Has arrived. arrived. Another government is on it. The kingdom of God is saying that it's evidence that another government have arrived. So it's not your, you doing it. It's the Holy Spirit in you, which is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God drive out what demon. See, a demon come from an, another kingdom. Sickness is from another kingdom. Cancer. Also, Covered 19 is from another kingdom. You need the kingdom of God to cast out covered 19 pandemic. Wow. Wow, wow. But if I cast out devil by, by what? The spirit of God, then the kingdom of God have come to you. I want to let you know that the kingdom of God is in South Carolina. Everywhere I go, I carry the kingdom of God with me. I am an ambassador. I am a representative. And all our people also are expanded. Another ministry in the Philippines. The kingdom of God is in the Philippines. Am I clear? The kingdom of God is wherever our pastors, our leaders are. The kingdom of God is there. But when the apostle in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had to accept the word of God, they sent unto them two ambassadors. Who did they send? Two ambassadors. The ambassador, Peter and John, came to Samaria. When they came to Samaria, they prayed for them that they might receive what? The Holy Spirit. They prayed for them that they might receive what? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the kingdom citizenship. That they may receive kingdom citizenship. Now how can you preach about heaven if you are not a citizen of heaven? You must be a kingdom citizenship to preach about the kingdom. Am I clear? Amen. Pray for them that they may receive citizenship. Because the Holy Ghost was not... Paul and the only they were baptized by John. And Paul, Peter and John rest hand on them and they would receive their citizenship. The Holy Ghost. Wow. Now read the scriptures I give you, Pastor. One at a time. Begin to read the first scripture. Come. Ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom of God prepared for you from the foundation of the world. What did I say? Then the king will say on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Then the king will say on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my Father. The kingdom of God prepare for you. How long? Since the foundation, Since of, the the foundation of the world. God already prepared for you a kingdom. You know, folks can't wait to get in church services. 
folks can't wait to get in in ritual. They can't even wait. Now, man made religion and religion more important than God. Am I clear? The kingdom prepared for you. The next scripture. Come be blessed on my father. Do not fear, do not fear, little flock. You know, people are so scared. Oh, stop, hold on. Do not fear, little flock. You know, people are so fearful because of the economy and the pandemic. They are fear. But I tell you today, religious folks are fear. Christians are fear. Do not fear, little flock. It is your father. Who's the father? The government. Good pleasure to give you what? A kingdom. The kingdom. God is never satisfied. He says, please, until you receive the kingdom. How long are you going to be around man religion, singing, praying, shouting, going to church every Sunday? What happened to Monday? What happened to Tuesday? What happened to Wednesday? What happened to Thursday? What happened to Friday? You need your citizenship. Now, where is your citizenship? Where it is? Where is your citizenship for the Philippines, Pastor? It's in, in me. Your citizenship is in you. Where is your citizenship? In you. It is the invisible Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost power, and the language of the Holy Ghost in you. Your citizenship for heaven. Now, influence. What is influence? The, t- the teaching is kingdom of God influence. It is a colony. What is influence? Influence is effect. What it is? It's on effect. It's in park. What it is? In park. In park. It is control. Control. Now, how the kingdom of God influences it? The earth, religion, and earth has in park on people. They take cocaine, marijuana, and drugs. That's an impact on people's lives. Many families are destroyed because of cocaine, marijuana, and weed, especially young people. Alcohol and beer, it's an impact on people's lives. Many families are destroyed and break up because of drinking alcohol. They're alcoholic. Drinking beer and alcohol. Sex, pornography. Music, it's in park on people's lives. Money, it's in park. Wealth, it's in park. They are all what you call evil power. What is that? They are called evil power. Evil power needs that the kingdom of God to break that spirit of evil on their life. Now, what is an is in park? The best way to explain in park, if when the snow comes on the road and you're driving on the road,